Out of everything we're gonna eat today, what is the most delicious? I think you would enjoy uh, a jumping trim salad. Jumping trim salad. Yeah, they're alive. A live shrimp, they're jumping out of the cup. Oh. All the ingredients mixed together. Okay. Yeah. Oh, nothing you... tastes better than food that's al alive. alive. <laughs> yeah. Is that true? Yeah, it's true. So you just go, I'll do whatever you do. Yeah, we're gonna alive. be jumping around. Are we yeah. gonna eat them while they're yeah. still alive? Yeah. The moment of putting it in my mouth, it's hard to get used to. Welcome to Chiang Mai. This is my first foodie mission into Thailand and this five video series is going to have everything. Among the southern, central, and northeastern regions, northern Thailand has a culinary identity all its own. And I came here searching for the most unique food I could find. I'm talking risking my life to eat raw pig's blood soup. Somebody ate the soup one time. Yes. And they got a parasite. Yes. Why are people eating this if it's dangerous? I'm talking foraging for wild food in the mountains. Freshly roasted bugs. First of all, do you have any ranch dipping sauce? I'm talking tons of delicious foods that even the most timid traveler will be head over heels for. Oh my God. One of the top five desserts in Southeast Asia. Holy crap. So be sure to subscribe to this channel and check back for each video in this series. Today I'm focusing on some of the most unusual tasty treats in Northern Thailand. Some of them taste great, some take a bit of time to get used to. I'm here with my guide, Bao Wai. What kind of tour is this? A scary food tour. Who is it scary for? Maybe foreigners because they're not uh, familiar with this kind of food because I grew up with this kind of food since I was a little girl. Bao Wai is part of A Chef's Tour, a highly recommended tour company that's connecting knowledgeable locals and hungry visitors like me. You've eaten and all that stuff in your normal life growing yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. They put on diverse tours throughout the country, and today, Mao Ai is taking me on a custom tour with the aim of getting me out of my comfort zone. I like eat warm. Worm. I prefer worm, silk worm and bamboo worm. She's already trying to scare me with her worm talk. But I've yet to meet a worm I didn't like. How about the taste? It tastes like really good. <laughs> The food that we will try here is a raw uh, buffalo salad. Raw yeah. buffalo salad? Yeah, raw, uh, means, means raw buffalo salad. You don't like to eat raw food? No, I don't like to eat raw food, but most of the people from the north here, they eat raw food. So today, I'm going to eat it raw. Raw yeah. buffalo salad. Yes. Let's do this. I've never had buffalo, let alone raw buffalo, but here goes. Location one starts us out at a pretty typical street side restaurant where you can see Thai style fast food. Soups and stews poured into a plastic bag for easy pickup and takeaway. Before we get to the raw buffalo, we'll warm up with some grilled pork tongue. I asked you, do we use forks or chopsticks? And you said no. No, we eat it by hand. The way how northern people, we have to eat it by hand. I learned that you're supposed to use like the tips. Yes. Fingertips. Yes. Okay, last time I had the food like up here yeah. and I was like palming it in. It wasn't good. This looks very straightforward. Yes. It's just some tongue. Yeah, just dip in a chili dip. And some dip. Are you yeah. going to eat this one with me? Sure, yes. Okay, let's do it together. Don't worry, you don't need to eat the raw ones. I know you don't like the raw ones. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Mmm. Chili sauce. Salty, spicy. Ooh. And the tongue is quite tough. Yeah. That's really, no, yeah. really chewy, huh? No, usually it's, the men who like to drink beer or whiskey, they love to eat a, pork, I knew a, it. a grilled pork tongue. If you're trying to get this down in 10 minutes for lunch, you're going to get locked jaw by the end of it. But if you're having a bite here and there, taking a shot, a shot of, uh, what's this? A bite. Bye. Oh, so buffalo. Buffalo bite. <laughs> there are surprises all over on this table. In, uh, in the lab. The raw buffalo salad is actually called larb. Larb is found everywhere in Northern Thailand. It can be made with chicken, beef, fish, buffalo, pretty much anything. It can be raw or stir fried. And I've personally found it to be heavily seasoned with spices like cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, star anise, and loads of lemongrass. Our raw buffalo larb today will also have a sprinkling of buffalo offals, blood, and buffalo bile which has a deep bitterness, very difficult for me to get used to. We're not gonna be drinking any of the bile today, but that is one of the ingredients in our larp here. The way how we eat it, we make a sticky rice like a ball, mm -hmm. and, then, and then use this, and use the thumb held to pick the food, oh, like this. That seems pretty easy. So you just get a little ball, yeah, and then roll use it the up, thumb 
to help and you bam, get good. And bam, there it is. Should I put a yeah, cherry yeah, on top? Yeah, definitely, and a chili. And a, ooh, and, 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 and chili, and a chili afterwards. Oh, okay. yeah. Whole chili, why not? <laughs> Garlic. Oh, that tastes fantastic. There's so many herbs in here. Yeah. About 13 uh, spice that already in here. It is loaded with spices, herbs, and flavors. A lot of lemongrass coming through. You don't even really feel the stomach. It just gives a little extra texture yes. on there. Another delicious bite of raw buffalo. Yeah, I'm a big fan. It's a bit bitter. Because of the bile. Because of the bile. Yes. For today's dessert, grilled fermented sour pork. After fermenting for some days, the pork is heated up on the grill. This is the way how Norton people preserve the food for a few days. It's a little bit sour because of the fermentation for a few days. Yeah, yeah. they have something like this in central yeah. Vietnam. Yeah. And do I do the sticky rice yeah, ball the again? Yeah, the sticky rice ball again. With the ball, it gives you like something to put the food against. And with the garlic. Mm. Wow. <laughs> These are some intense flavors going on here. Pork already, it's salty, it's sour. I love the rice because it's so chewy. It gives awesome texture to it, but so delicious. It makes sense, this way of cooking. A hundred years ago, no one had a refrigerator. But this one you can keep like for probably a week. That's beautiful, this is awesome. What a great start to the day. Let's keep going. Up next, something I never even knew existed jumping shrimp at this beautiful lakeside retreat. Right behind us is the kitchen where they're making the jumping shrimp. There are certainly jumping shrimp in there. I don't know if is making the right word, they're, where they're gonna make the shrimp jump. Those are tiny. We mm. have to eat it raw, this one, raw shrimp. Okay. Tastes delicious, sweet. I can't even imagine how this works, so let's just go find out. After starting with a small bowl filled with fresh herbs, chilies, and spices, the shrimpies are invited to the party. The chef needs to be quick, so several shrimpies are not lost in the process. Some more daring among the shrimpies aim for a quick getaway, while those who remain will be shaken up and served with a beer. This is probably one of the most unusual things I've seen yes. in my life. Yes, yeah, so oh. all the ingredients mixed together. Okay, the owner of this restaurant, the owner restaurant. is actually here, which is a wonderful thing, because she's gonna uh, show me how to do it. Actually, I'm gonna put that one back. Is that rude? Was that rude? Is that dirty? I don't know. So you just go, I'll do whatever you do. Yeah, okay. Oh, but they're getting out. Okay, you just eat it. Yeah. And then do you eat some lettuce? <laughs> I like that she's also like surprised. Okay, I don't know, I was gonna put it back, but I guess I'll put it in my mouth. Uh, here we go. Uh, sorry. Oh, I missed it. Oh, got it. Oh. Delicious, yummy. Yummy? Yeah, crispy, juicy, lemony flavor in mm. there. If the shrimp is a little too much for you, if you feel like you've crushed too many live creatures, you can just nosh also on some vegetables. Oh my God. Plus we got some beer to help forget about this whole thing. And opening it, opening the lid right here to reveal. Look at these guys. So they're still jumping out. They haven't lost any gusto. People just keep eating and drinking, yes, eating yes, and drinking, yes, yes. and they'll eat all these. Yes. Why, why eat them alive? Does she know? Maybe you could yeah, ask her. So, oh, she said that if the, if the trim is dead, not delicious, just the sweetness from the, the trim must have to eat it when alive. To be honest, it is. It's, it's like juicy, yeah. crunchy, yeah. and then the seasoning in there is amazing. Salty, and then there's a bunch of citrus explosion. Yeah. Unexpected, but it's quite good. Even though she's the owner of this establishment where they serve this dish, she still jumps when they jump. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, she said that uh, be careful when you eat jumping shrimp salad. Sometimes the shrimp jumping and then the, all the chilies and spit into your eyes. Yeah. Oh. You gotta be careful. It's their only weapon, their only way to fight back. Mm, it's good, it's delicious. It's just, it's a lot to get used to in a short amount of time. Let's have some rice. The Thai food that most foreigners know comes from Thailand's central region. The north is known for having more brothy dishes and less coconut milk, more chicken and pork, and less seafood. And our food from the north part of Thailand received influence from India, Burma, and China. At our next destination, we have a frog soup and a soup with freshwater eel with a side of fried pork intestine and stir-fried eel. This one looks fiery and threatening, but that's just tamarind sauce. 
Mm. Same texture with grilled chunk. Only few uh, Westerners they like to try this thing. So why? But why not? I feel like. More Westerners need to eat intestine. Eel soup. Oh, okay. This is kind of a small eel. It looks really spicy. Yes. Is the bone still in the eel? Yes. Do I eat it or spit it out? Uh, no, don't eat the bone. Yeah, just eat the meat. Bam, spit bowl. All right, some real chunks of eel inside. Let's try it out. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh. oh, oh. That is spicy. I just, I taste lemongrass and spice and fire. But that meat is delicious. Ain't nothing weird about eel. Eel's great. Mmm, that is terrific. We got one more we're gonna try here before we move on. And this is a frog, a frog soup. stew. And you can still see the frog skin on there. Yes. Nice. Wow, so right there, that's yeah, just the straight frog up. Skin, frog skin, yeah, frog meat, frog legs, the whole frog. All right, let's try it out. Fatty, rubbery. Ooh, that's also tremendously spicy. Wow. When there's soup with like bones inside, that's like a landmine. That's dangerous. Yeah. In this case, we just have straight meat, skin, no bone, so you can just get a big heaping scoop of frog parts and just eat it without a care in the world. It's very delicious. Powerful flavors. I mean, look at that. A whole frog leg right here. It's like a quadricep hamstring. That is a strong leg. I'm sweating. The sweat is coming yeah. already. For you, that's even spicy. Yeah, very spicy. I, I cannot eat spicy food. Wow, that is intense, but I like it. I like it a lot. Though some of today's dishes are completely foreign to this bandana-wearing dude from Minnesota, the flavors have been amazing. But our next food will really put that to the test. We are in a local market where they are selling produce, fruit, vegetables, meat, and bugs. Wait, is that right? Is this the bug place? Yes. And bugs. Should we go eat bugs? Sure. Okay. Oh, lettuce. I've seen that before. That's no big deal. Broccoli, no big deal. Egg where, noodle. Where do they hide the bugs? Over there. Okay, well, let's go there. I think we're approaching. Oh, oh yes. We hit the jackpot here. Oh. It's grasshopper, wow. yeah. Bamboo worm. Bamboo worms. Silk worm. And silk worms. There are so many worms here. This lady just works here selling worms, yes. huh? Yes. Um, why did she, what, why, um, why did she choose the bug life? Steven, uh, how many many people from uh, the other part of the country when they come here in Chiang Mai holiday, they love to buy a bamboo worm and silk worm to take back. Bamboo worm is the most expensive worm. Baked bamboo worm, fried bamboo worm. Those two, way more expensive than the rest. Cricket is the cheapest. Sorry, Cricket, no one cares about you. I would say I'm scared, but I'm not. I've done this a lot. I'm deep into the bug game. The thing with bugs, if they're fried, it's no issue, really. They're just crunchy, and they kind of disintegrate in your mouth. So we're gonna get a little bit of everything. Let's start with some grasshopper. Oh, okay, they're stuck together, counts as one. <laughs> and a small grasshopper, too, just because it's cute. Water bugs, I'm looking for the biggest, baddest water bug they got here. This one looks freaking huge. That is a monster water bug. Oh gosh, for my eating partner too. Oh, they look like they're salted though, that's nice. The crickets are cheap, because they're just, these are like popcorn basically. Crickets are good. Ugh. Now this cricket, this cricket is where it gets a little different, because that is a big head. It's a big everything, thorax, abdomen. Le oh, but those are some nice legs on there. Very meaty. And I'll get another friend for him too. From the top, they look just like cockroaches. And then here we're gonna get this bag of seasoned and fried bamboo worms. That actually looks tasty. Now I gotta say, once you've had bugs for the first time, you're like, okay, it's not a big deal. They look scary, but the taste is usually fine. Yes. But there's a lot of haters out there and a lot of people don't understand it. So can you explain why do some people in Northern Thailand eat bugs like this? Buying like meat or pork mm. or chicken is expensive. They cannot find it. So the local people in the village go out and find this in the jungle. But now it's getting popular in the city. If a fly lands on this food, yes. is that okay? I'm gonna say, let's start with the crickets. Yeah. All right. A little country flavor in there. Otherwise it's salty, it's crunchy. They're like the peanuts of the inside world. Not bad. Actually, let's just I, move I think I passed the grasshopper. Are you afraid of this? No, I'm not. You don't like it? I try it. Okay. What about this big one, though? Yeah. Cheers. 
That's a really crunchy one. Not a lot of flavor. Papery, oily from being fried, and then salty, but not a ton of flavor beyond that. These ones look terrifying, because from the top, they look like a cockroach. Do people ever eat cockroaches? No. Why not? We don't eat cockroaches, just dirty. We just eat insect like this from the jungle. So much like when I was in Vietnam, some people in the country would eat rat, and it's because that rat was a rice rat. It wasn't eating garbage. It wasn't diseased. It was like a, a nature paleo rat. People aren't eating cockroaches from the street or no, anything like that. These insects are all from the jungle. jungle. They've been eating yeah, yeah. natural things. Yeah, but we do eat a rat that come from in the rice field here too. Oh, yeah. I gotta try that. You're giving me ideas. I like it. I want to try these worms. These worms actually look yummy. My favorite. That's your favorite? Yeah, this is the most oh. expensive one too. 2,500 baht per kilo. Per kilo, almost $80. Yes. For these worms. Yeah. These are the most bougie worms I've ever eaten. That's crazy. It's almost like a rice cake. They just like disintegrate. It's like a bag of Lay's potato chips. Mostly air and just a little bit of bugs. I mean chips. Wait, what? I got a bit of a surprise for you. I got the small one for you. Oh, I, I, I passed the, this one. But everybody watching now is so sad that you're passing. Never tried it before. Wait, you never tried it? Never tried this kind. Because it looks scary, right? Mm, yeah. So now we can admit, maybe it's scary for everybody and not just for me. Oh, she said that the head part can eat too. Oh, great. Guys, you can eat the head too. Okay. Okay. Hey, be brave. Yeah. Here we go. The dog has a shirt on. This bubble. What do you think? Too hard to chew. I don't think I can. It's like eating a rubber. I don't think I can chew it. I don't think I can swallow it. Can we have a tissue? She has tissue. Flavor is good. Yeah. It's just way too hard to chew. That's uh -huh. like actual like thick fingernail yeah. type texture. Good job. Your first water bug? Yes. Let's stick to worms, yeah? Yeah. We are on our way to our last food, our last destination in another market here where they're grilling up some piggy brains, but maybe not in the way you think. I think uh, it'd be hard to grill pig brains just like loosely setting them on a grill. So here, they're wrapped up in a banana leaf? Yeah, banana leaf. This one. This one? Yes. Ah, uh, you're right. It says brain right yeah, there. Yeah, yes, brain. Ah, okay, in Thai, okay. in Thai. But of course. So we got brains here. Yes. And they have a whole assortment of different foods yeah, different and food. Christmas Fish, presents yeah, wrapped yeah, up yeah. in banana leaves. Yes. I see brains. I want to eat brains. Let's do it. Let's order. Oh. One brains, please. Right now, he's opening up the leaf to reveal a little kind of square brain cake with all the other ingredients in there. It looks real nice, real nice. So we get a sticky rice to eat with the brain. Sounds good to me. We've got some sticky rice here now too. Make sticky rice like a ball. Eat it by hand like how not some people eat it. Mm. So the brains are usually like really fatty, salty. Let's see, let's see how it is. Oh, I mean, come on. It's creamy, fatty, and packed with salt and like lemongrass flavor. Just a ton of that lemongrass coming through. Same with a lot of the stuff we ate today, but you never get sick of it. When you mix it with the rice, it's, it's perfect. That, they balance each other out. This is immensely creative, delicious, and uh, mind-blowing. It was mostly mind-blowing for the pig. It's, his mind was blown all over this leaf. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. I want to thank a chef's tour again for taking me along on this amazing culinary adventure. Guys, this video was actually made possible by One Trip Tours. They are a tour company in Vietnam. And I know what you're thinking, what? Vietnam, but you're in Thailand. That's right. One Trip Tours has made it possible for me to take trips like this make videos like this uh, here in Thailand. So I want to say thank you. One Trip is a company putting on tours all throughout Vietnam. You can do food tours, adventure tours, anything you can imagine. My personal favorite is the Mekong Delta Tour. They pick you up. They bring you to all these amazing places. You get to try amazing local food, meet the people, see how they make candied coconut. I mean, come on. For more information on One Trip, check out the links in the description down below. I'm going to see you next week. A Peace. I told him I can be a fighter.